Aerospace engineering is something that I have been interested in since I was 14. I had a real passion for aircrafts um, and aeroplanes. I was also quite a space enthusiast, but from where I come from, a very developing country, being an astronaut is <laughs> quite, quite a dream. As soon as I graduated, I was quite lucky to get a job with the Ministry of Defence as an engineering graduate. I had opportunity to work with fighter jets and with nuclear weapons where my aerospace engineering skills were very useful. It was just an amazing time in my life, yeah. So whilst I enjoyed working in the engineering space, after four years of it, I actually felt that I wanted to do something different. I wanted to explore more of the civil service. At the time as well, a very uh, personal matter was that my father was ill and I actually lost my father. That's when I realized I needed more in life. Cybersecurity itself was quite new within government at the time and they were, they were willing to train people. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. It was not only just a completely new field, but a completely new department, new area. I did about two years of it and I, I enjoyed it so much that I wanted to do more work in cybersecurity. So instead of going back to the Ministry of Defence and doing engineering work, I looked for another role. And for me to be able to do that within just one field was quite thrilling. And soon it was 10 years into a cybersecurity career. I am a senior leader in cybersecurity with the UK government and right now I'm working for the Home Office. So I think if you're making a transition, it's quite important that people know you want to do that, that you have your CVs out there, that you're speaking to recruitment agencies and making them aware of exactly the type of roles you're looking for and also what skills and expertise you have to offer. Having climbed the ladder from being a graduate all the way up to being a senior leader, uh, I feel quite established within the civil service. Getting to where I've got to has allowed me to uh, contribute towards a corporate responsibilities as well. So I'm not just a senior leader in cybersecurity, but I have sort of made my place in terms of championing other women to join cybersecurity, bringing in diversity and inclusion into it, and that is quite a rewarding role to have. So I do feel quite accomplished and quite fulfilled in my career.